Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures. How we doing everybody? Oh, we got oh, we got the brand new 2022-2023 Fleer Metal Universe Hockey. You guys know I like anything metal. So, we're going to see what we get out of that later. How's it going everybody? It's not a bad day in uh, New Jersey here. We got about 85, a little humid, not too bad. But uh, just came from a nice uh, family event. My nephew uh, that works at the Brave Stadium there, he's in with his wife Lexi uh, for a wedding, and we went out to lunch So with the whole family. So it was pretty good. The only ones missing was uh, Ryan, nephew Ryan and uh, my brother, because they're in Virginia playing hockey. So I'm, I'm doing the video. I'm going to upload the video. Then I'm on my way. Thank God it's only down the road to another hockey game. One, one of uh, my nephew's cousins, he calls me Uncle Daryl too. So I'm going to see uh, his game. And then tomorrow I got to go see my nephew play. So a couple of hockey games in a row should be pretty good. All right. And that's about it. So first thing we're going to do is give all. So I'm busy. I'm supposed to be retired, but I'm busy. All right. That's good. That's a good thing, though. All right. I want to shout out to all my featured channels. Check them out. A lot of great featured channels down there below. Take a look. We've got a lot of hours and hours of entertainment. We're going to go right to the prizes. We've got our box all filled up here. And what are our prizes today? See, let's see. First out of the box is going to be the 2020-2021 NBA Player of the Day Pack. Second out of the box is going to be a Fleer Ultra, the Book on Derek Jeter insert. Third out of the box is going to be a 1971 Topps Lance Allworth card. And fourth out of the box, well, we got the famous pinnacle, Tiger Williams insert right there. That's a uh, Tough Times insert. All right. So that's our prizes. Let's mix up the box. We're going to hand mix it first. Let's see here. Yeah, I was supposed to have a quiet weekend, and then this popped up, that popped up, and now... I'm going non-stop over here. Oh. Then I got to get ready for the kitchen table box break on Monday. Ooh, I still got to do that. All right. All right, but I'll get it done. All right, here we go. We're going for the pack first. Good luck to everybody. I'm going in. And here it comes. Here it comes. First out of the box for the pack is... Oh, SCA. SCA. There he is. SCA. He's getting the pack. Here we go. We're going for the Derek Jeter. Let me mix her up again. All right. Here it comes. Oh, Sean Sabara with the Derek Jeter. Sean, you got the Derek Jeter coming. That's a nice one. You can't. There is, there is not a bad Derek Jeter card out here. That's my consensus. Nope. Got a 72 Lance Allworth. There it is. Oh, Frank M.A. Frank M.A. Frank M.A. with the Lance Allworth. Look at that. We'll put that there. And, the, oh, a lot of my Canadian guys want this one. I know that. All right. The Tiger Williams. I didn't know who he was until I found that card. And then a lot of the guys told me. All right, here we go. Only one. Let's see. Oh, Jay's Mix, and he's from Canada. <laughs> There you go. Jay's Mix. All right. Jay's Mix with the Tiger Williams right there. And that's our prizes for this video. And uh, we'll show you some prizes at the end. All you got to do is subscribe, be a subscriber, and make a comment on this video. And you'll have a chance for the prizes I show at the end of this video for next video. All right. We're going right to Warehouse Finds. Let's see. Oh. And we got hockey first. All right, so for you guys that are not familiar with what's going on here, I show a few warehouse finds. I probably go through four or 5,000 cards a week easy, and these are just a few of the things I find. I can't do them all, or else we'll be here all day. All right, and it's a mixture. It could be commons. It could be inserts. could be autos. We got a, but the stuff I like. We got a top shelf, Sergei Fedorov. Got a Hands of Gold, Peter Forsberg. 
Oh, these were nice. Uh, Ultimate Victory, Frozen Fury, Joe Sachik. Yeah, the, my nephews are finally, well, one's playing in Virginia today, so that's why he wasn't there at the party. Uh, and my brother wasn't there. They're playing in Virginia. But uh, I'm going to see the one tonight and the other one tomorrow night. Hockey's back in New Jersey. All right, here we go. And we got, this is an SPX rookie of Alice Kodalik. We got a black diamond card. I think that's all. A, oh, it's it's a can it's he's in his Canadian uniform. Shane Willis. I think that's that's a rookie card of him. Oh, uh, we found some Fleer medals. These are the old ones from 95, 96, the originals. We got a Sean McEcker. These are the original Fleer medal from two, uh, 1995, 96. Got a Craig Janey, Steve Ruchin. This is a rookie, Robert Savella, a Keith Jones, Matthew Schneider. I don't know if I'm saying the names right. We got a rookie of Jason Bonsignor. You see how the rookies, they got the etched rookie in the background. That's how you can tell. And then we got a Stefan Roche. They're the old devils. Yeah. Put these over here. Oh, some old basketball coming. Who we got today? It looks like Celtics. We got some Celtics, some Stars, and some Chaparrales. When's the last time you heard Chaparrales? Let's see what we got. We got a Don Chaney. And the Celtics. These cards, some of them are pretty clean. We got a Tom Sanders. A Don Nelson. He was pretty good, Don Nelson. And I think he went into coaching, too. So this is funny. A lot of these players didn't make big money. They had to have a job in the summer. And this one says in the back, it's got a, a comic thing with a guy selling tickets. It says, Don sells tickets for the Celtics in the summertime. That was his summertime job. We got a Steve Kuberski. I don't remember him from the old Celtics. We got some stars. We got a Willie Wise from the stars. The ABA. Glenn Combs. We got a James Jones and a Larry Jones. So, two Jones as guards. And I remember this guy. This guy was pretty good. Ron Boone. Ron Boone. He was pretty good. I used to follow a lot of that ABA because the Nets were my favorite team back then. And of course, they had Dr. J. Chaparral's. We got Gene Kennedy. Another guy, Steve Jones. Bob Nedelecki. This is funny. A Rich Jones. We had two teams with two Joneses on it. So this one here says, Rich's wife is niece of basketball magician Marquis Haynes, who I think was on the Globe Trotters. That's pretty interesting. All right, what do we got here? We got a... Hoops, Jermaine O'Neal, rookie. He was a pretty good player. This is a 1994 draft pick. Top this card. And on one side is Danielle Marshall. And the other side is Jamal Mashburn. Who a lot of people overlook. He was a real good player. We've got a new style from Skybox... X, it looks like. Sean Marion. That's a fancy card. Got an old hoops Tim Hardaway rookie. Oh, we got we got a couple Jordans. Got a nice stadium club Jordan. That was a nice one. He's getting ready to do some dunking there. Even on the back, they got a nice 
photo. We got a 96-97 Fleer Jordan. It's one of the older Black Diamond Jordans. And we got a newer card, a Prism Instant Impact Jamari Smith Jr. All right. Well, we got one non-sport card to show you today. This is funny. Because I always say this, this kid... Uh, He's formed a career, but it's all on the backs of his father, Ozzy Osbourne. So this is a card. For, the Osbournes actually have a card set. I think I have some of the cards here, actually, like packs. And uh, this is the uh, music man, they call it. The Osbournes, and Jack is sleeping. That's his son. So on the back, they have uh, dialogue. Okay, Sharon, is that our son of ours in bed Ozzy says he's just contemplating his next oh I can't even read what it says forget it <laughs> I can't read it it's, it's nasty oh we got, we got from the upper deck now I think this was his rookie year I think Tiger Tiger Woods and these are the Tiger Tail inserts so they I think they put one in every pack back then or close to it but these are actually rookie inserts of Tiger Woods. And there's a lot of different ones. I mean, they span his whole career up to that point, I guess. Like, there's a, it looks like he's a lot younger than that one. Here's the last one here. All right, on to some football. What do we got in football? Oh, I like this set. This was a good set back then. This is a 1997 batch of Upper Deck Legends cards. We got a Hugh McElhenney. They had some great players in this from 97, but they're older players, a lot of them. We got a Dwight Clark. Ozzie Newsom. Johnny Robinson, Freddie Solomon, Babe Perilli, you got an Anthony Munoz, John Hadle, you got a Reggie McKenzie, Joe the Jet Perry, we're talking old there, I don't remember him. And I was a Ram fan. Oh no, he's a 49er. But we played the we played the 49ers. I don't remember him. I remember this guy, Ed Too Tall Jones. He was too tall. And we got Oh, this is a uh oh, it's a Chuck Howley. Chuck Howley. He was good for the Cowboys. We got a Oh, we got more of them. Sid Luckman. Found a bunch of these. I gotta separate them. Ron Mix. Chuck Muncie. Oh, usually always wore those big horn rim glasses. And Leo Namely? Namalani. I don't know. We well, still got more. A, a West Chandler. Oh, and this guy is on TV today. Chris Collinsworth. Then we got one stuck in. It's just a playoff Kerry Collins rookie. There we go. We got some older football coming up. Let's see what we got for older football here. Looks like uh, Eagles, Lions, and Cowboys. All right. So we got from the Eagles, Billy Wallach. These are from 1971. Tom Woodishick. Tim Rosovich, Cyril Pinder, and Gary Pettigrew. The Lions, Earl McCullough, Alty Taylor, and we got Cowboys. This one is 
Way off center, but we got a Bruce Gossett. That's way off center. In fact, in the back, the other card's coming. Look at that. Wait, it's not Bruce Gossett. Well, who is it? Ralph Neely. The Bruce Gossett card, the one that's coming on the bottom. It's way off center, though. It's hard to get these cards. They had, they didn't have the quality control they have now. We got a Leroy Jordan. Oh, watch out. So if you see a nice Leroy Jordan like that, that's not bad. Pretty well centered. They weren't all like that. Ralph Neely. Well, that's the guy I had. <laughs> and Walt Garrison. There you go. So baseball. I found a couple weird cards. They're just commons. But we've got a uh, 93 Kirby Puckett with the big bat. I thought that was a funny card. And then I found this one here. This is a Ultra from 98. Barry Larkin with the glove on top of his head. Look at that. That's a weird card. I I remember I, I used to take those weird weird cards, I'll call them, and throw them in the box because I liked them. All right. Oh, we got a bunch of cards from uh, the Greats of the Game here. Greats of the Game cards. All right. So these were the Sports Illustrated Greats of the Games. And they're just regular cards, but they're nice. We got a Bob Feller. All the old timers. Frank Thomas, who was a big hitter for the Pirates back in the day. Christy Mathewson coming up next. Robin Roberts. Walter Johnson. Gaylord Perry. And then we got thrown in an Al Simmons. Just a, some kind of, that's an upper deck century legend, I think. There you go. All right, we got some 63s. Who we got in 1963 today? The Milwaukee Braves from 1963. All right. We got a Robbie Bragan or Bragan. Lou Johnson. Ron Pitch Pitch. So we're talking about the Braves. I was talking to my nephew. He works in the front office. Uh, he runs the stadium there. So it, it's nice. I didn't know he got such great perks. He he can get four seats for every game if he wants. I mean, he can't sit there and watch it because he's working, but he's got four seats. So he told me, Uncle Darrell, anytime you want to come. The only problem is, I think it's like a, what, a six, eight hour drive or something? <laughs> I told him next summer. Yeah, and uh, if they win the World Series, he says that they take the front office people and they send them uh, to, to watch the uh, away games. So I'll go to the other parks and watch the away games. And then he's going to get a ring if they win. So I'm rooting for the Braves to win since my Yankees ain't going to do nothing. I, oh, we got Cecil Butler. <laughs> Bob Henley. Roy McMillan. Bob Shaw. Frank Funk. So he's funny, my nephew. He says, I got to root for the Braves, Uncle Darrell. There's too many perks. I said, yeah, I don't blame you, because especially because the Yankees ain't going to do nothing. We got a Don Dilliard. Claude Raymond. Dennis Mankey. Jim Constable. Ty Klein. Denver LeMaster. We got a Frank Bowling. And a Hank Fisher. All right, we'll throw that over there. All right, we got some. Oh, so these are baseball autographs that came in back in the day as TTMs. And then back in the day, JSA had what they called a quick stamp. For five bucks, they would look at it and just stamp it as real. So I'll show you that. They don't they do not do that service anymore. This is back, you know. We got a uh, Davy Lopes. Was he playing then, or man? I guess he was still playing. But Davy Lopes, right there, autographed, and on the back, as you see, is the JSA stamp. You got Fritz Peterson, who ended up playing for the Yankees. Well, this is after the Yankees. That there, you got a Lance Parrish. 
Oh, so this is it. This is from the uh, the girls' professional baseball league. Barb Hoffman. Uh, this this guy passed away. Larry Durker. We got a Wally Joiner. So these TTMs, I get, I guarantee you, were done 15, 20 years ago. So I'm not sure if these people, some of them are not alive, and some of them are not signing anymore. But uh, Bobby Bonilla, who's still collecting a paycheck from the Mets, there he is. Oh, Dusty Baker, there he is, with the Dodgers. You got a Andre Dawson. He's got a nice autograph, Andre Dawson. Did I do it right? Yeah, here it is. He's got a nice autograph. And an Alan Trammell actually has a decent autograph, too. A lot of the old-timers, they, they take their time and they give you a nice autograph. Some of these new guys, boom, boom, boom. Looks like an X, an X and an O or something. All right, and that's our warehouse finds. All right, let me take a little swig of something. So we went out to an Italian place. It was okay. Uh... I had eggplant parmesan with spaghetti. Salty, though, so I'm thirsty. Oh. Good, but salty. I don't usually put salt in my food, so I'm, it's good, but afterwards I drink like two drinks. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to our card, sh card shop stories, and we're going to talk about a character today. So this guy, very nice guy. Very nice guy, but he was a character. So, when I ran the card shows, his uh, I had, we would run between 11 and 13 dealers, whatever we could fit, in the store, you know. Uh, and I had at least three Joes. So, to, I used to yell out names for prizes and stuff. So, in order to uh, decipher each Joe, I gave him a nickname. So, uh, the one guy was Long Hair Joe, because he had long hair. The other guy was Yankee Joe, because all he had was basically Yankees on the table, and he liked the Yankees. And the other guy was Hockey Joe. So we're going to be talking about Hockey Joe today. <laughs> Out of the three, Hockey Joe might have been the biggest character. I could, I could tell stories about the other ones, too. But uh, yeah, Hockey Joe might have been the biggest character. Very nice guy. Oh, Jesus. The salt of the earth. But he had his little things going on. Uh, uh, I, I met him in the new store in Randolph. So I, had, I hadn't known him that long. We opened here in 2017. And he was almost a customer right away. And of course, he liked his hockey. So uh, he always bought hockey. And he would hang around the store a lot, which is okay, talking and stuff. Uh, but during the day, you know, at first I thought, oh, maybe this guy's, because I knew where he worked. He worked, he was a locksmith for a big company, big company. I'm not going to mention the company, uh, but they were under, they like had a contract. His, he worked for somebody that had a contract with the big company to do their locksmith work. When you have a big office like that, there's always people locking their keys out, you know, so they need uh, almost a full-time locksmith on the premises. That's how big the place was. So he was it, you know, and, uh, but I guess... It wasn't work all the time. I guess if they needed him, he worked. But he had a lot of downtime, too. So he's funny. He would hang out in the store. Then if they called him, because he was about eh, 20 minutes away, probably, he'd hightail it as soon as they called him back to the office. You know, maybe told him he was in the bathroom or something. So, uh, and this is going on for a long time. Oh, geez, probably at least a year. You know, and uh, all of a sudden one day, in walks the CEO of that company, who I knew very well. Uh, I knew the CEO since he was a kid and collecting autographs on the golf course. You know, he was big with autographs and he liked his packs too. So he's the big CEO and we're talking a big company. So I figured I'd do him a favor, Hockey Joe, and introduce him to the CEO, figuring he didn't know him maybe. So, and, you know, get him maybe a little chummy, and this way he'd be in, you know. So I I said uh, to the CEO, hey, do you know uh, Joe over here? He works for the company. And he goes, no, I don't know him. So I introduced him, and they had a, a nice uh, introduction. 
And that was pretty much it. Uh, the CEO was always on the run. He was in and out in five, 10 minutes. So he bought his stuff and he usually bought a lot of stuff and out he was. So as soon as he leaves, Joe says, oh, I don't know if you should have introduced us. I said, why? Because I really didn't know this. I, I thought he was mainly on lunch or something. He goes, I'm supposed to be there all the time. I'm not supposed to be here. I said, yeah, but I don't know if he's that kind of guy to, to say anything. You know, he goes, big shots like that, you don't even want to know them to know you exist. I says, oh, okay. So maybe the world has changed. I mean, back in my day, if you were, you know, up and coming, you'd want the big guys to know you existed. But anyway, I said, all right. So well, I said, well, I'm sorry about that, Joe, but I didn't know. So I introduced you. What am I going to do? So make a long story short. It is a long story. Whenever the contract came up, they lost the contract. It goes up for bids. And when he seen that, the CEO, because he's sharp. And I, I guess when I thought about it later, I said, oh, he saw that. You know, that he hangs around in the store. They put it up for bids and you didn't have to be there. And Joe's company wasn't close, even though he was coming in. This other company that got the contract, oh, there's a squirrel looking at me through the window. Hey! And he's just looking at me. Look at that. <laughs> he's sitting on the little tree limb just looking at me. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's off. So, uh, so he, uh, they hired a company that was like not even 10 minutes away. I mean, they probably put a lower bid in too knowing they wouldn't have to have anybody there, you know. So there you go. The squirrel's back on this thing again. So 10 minutes uh, away, and they lost the bid. So he got shipped down to South Jersey or something, and that which wasn't close, and started... Uh, I saw him at the shows. He would do the shows still. Once a month, we would have a, sh a show in the store, and uh, as part two of the story. I used to do auctions during the show. Every like 15 minutes, we'd auction off a couple of items and we would give a couple door prizes too. And most guys wanted wax. So I would say 75% of the auction items were wax. And Joe liked his hockey. And I made sure there was always a couple. He wasn't the only one though, that's the problem. There was always a box or two, a couple boxes of hockey in the auction. <clears throat> and he was funny. He would bid, and if you bid against him, the only time I seen him get mad, he would get mad. Like, you're not supposed to bid against him. And I think it got to the point where, you know, he got mad in like a cute kind of way, I think I want to say. I mean, the guys that bid against him were no better than me. But, uh, and they told me to bring up this story. Uh, that, this, this came up during the kitchen table box break. They said he would get so mad, you know, because you bid against him that we used to do it automatic just for the hell of it. I said, oh, come on now. He goes, yeah. He used to, we used to get a kick out of how mad he got. I said, oh, my God. He won some boxes, though, you know. Uh, but, you know, good things come to an end. Uh, the person that bought the store decided to do, I think he did a couple shows and then decided to discontinue it. And they don't do shows in the store anymore, so which I, I think is a mistake because we used to get on a Wednesday night uh, 60 to 80 people in the place on a Wednesday night, you know. And we had a couple rules, uh, only rules for the dealers. You can't sell wax, you can't sell supplies, so that's the store's deal. You can sell just about anything else as long as the autographs are certified by the right people. And I only charged them 10 bucks a table and usually bought something from their table to, to, neg to negate their rent. So they almost didn't have to spend any money. But they, they did on boxes and stuff, which is good. And uh, so Joe, I don't know where Joe is now. I, don't, I haven't even heard anybody has seen him. And I, I do shows down South Jersey, but I haven't seen him either. So I don't know. So Joe, you're listening. God bless you. You're a great guy. <laughs> That's my card shop story. All right, we're going to go right into, oh, the metal. I just got these in a couple days ago. Let's see what we got here. So, this is the new Fleer Metal Universe Hockey. Uh, collect two Blaster exclusive Blue Spectrum FX 
base set cards per box. So we're going to get two of those. Seven cards per pack, five packs per box. And it doesn't look like uh, any of the famous uh, bonus packs. Search for rare jambalaya, hot numbers, and metal X cards. All right. And there's nothing guaranteed to get, I guess, it, for those two, uh, the blue, blue uh, spectrums. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. The first metal hockey opening of the year here. You know it's not going to be the last because I like this stuff. Now, let's throw that over here. We'll get our box open. There we go. Okay. All right. Wish me luck. Let's see what we get here. That I don't believe that Connor Bedard is in this product. I looked. I couldn't find any. We'll see. But I, I couldn't find any online, so I'm just guessing. I didn't see the checklist, but I'm just guessing he's not. And I don't understand that because he's a redemption in the MVP, which came out previously. So who knows? All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh. Right away. Oh, they're not stuck, but... Okay. Well, these are different. All right. So they change up the design a little bit. All right, so we got to start off Erasmus Dolan. A little darker than they usually were, I think. All right, we got a Alexis Laughing the Air. That's good for my nephew. They like the Rangers. And we got something here. It's a Flash the Glove. Pavel Francouz from the Avalanche. Right away, I'm, I'm looking at these cards, and they're a little dark. I, I, I always like the metal. I don't know if I have those other cards. They were a little bit, you know, not flashy, but not dark like this. We got a Jake uh, Gunsell. They got like a dark tone to them. I mean, you look at the names, you can just about read them on the front. Pavel Regenda. That's why I'm flipping around and looking at them. That's a rookie. All right. Did it okay, yeah, they actually put rookie on the front, but you can't really see it that well. See it down there? Is it there? Yeah, it says rookie there, but like blends in with the card because they're all dark. We got a Matt Zuccarello. And a Boone Jenner. There you go. I'm hearing noises. All right, we got a, a Quinton Byfield coming up. There you go. A Victor Hedman. Well, here's something. What's this here? Regenda? Regenda looks like Pavel. Oh, that's his name, Regenda. So what kind of car? Oh, so it's, it's just like a... So this is like a uh, retro card, I guess, or something. It's an insert. Yeah, retro. It looks like R22. It's a little, a little flashier. Got a Jonathan Towles. A Mark Kastelik. That's a rookie. A Jesse Paul Jajarvi. And a Bowen Byram. Hmm. I didn't get any of those blue FX things yet. I, I thought, it, thought it said you got to get two. Let's see. Got three packs left. Oh, we got something in here. All right. We got a Clark Guru. They're pretty thick, but they sort of like, I don't want to say stick together, but sometimes they're hard to get. A Tivu Taravanian. Okay, here's one of our blues. Now, the blues look nice, I think. A little still on the dark side, as because the, the writing is dark. But we've got a Mad Sogard rookie blue. And then we got a, a premium prospect, Elmer Soderblom. We've got a Timo Meyer. 
a Braden Schneider, and a Noah Dobson. All right, here we go. We got something flashy coming up. We got a Mark Andre Fleury. A Juice Saros. I'm probably mispronouncing some of these names. What are you going to do? This looks nice. Not numbered or nothing, but it's a cachet. Kale McCarr. It's a shiny card. Look at that. We got a Elias Pedersen. A Ronnie Attard rookie. We got a Eugenie Malkin. And a Max Domi. Alright, last pack, and we should get another blue out of this. Yep, we do. Okay. All right. Last pack. We got a Shane Monahan, a Connor Hellebuck. Okay, we got a blue, and they look nice. The blues. A John Gibson blue. We got a Nick Suzuki. A rookie card of Nick Blankenberg. Let me see here. A Quinn Hughes. And a John Tavares. There you go. John Tavares. For all those Maple Leaf fans. All right. Now I'm trying to digest what I how I feel about them. I think they're a little on the dark side. So first... I was excited to get them. Then I figured out there probably is not a Bedard in them, I don't think. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I said, why did they do that? MVP had it. Now this is next, and they don't have it. So that was kind of stupid on their part. And I think the designs from uh, last year and the year before were better. So I don't like that dark thing. You know, it's a little too dark. You really can't see much. But I don't know. I still think they're okay. They give you the two blues. Uh, you know, so I'm not as excited about the Metal Universe as I used to be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So to me, they just look too dark. But what are you going to do? So, and that's my box opener. All right. So. We're getting ready to close here. All right. Oh, we're going on 38 minutes. We're doing good. I got to upload this video quick and then go to the hockey game. All right. So we're going to do prizes for uh, this video. So if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, you've got a chance for one of these prizes. First out of the box is going to be a 2014 NHL Player of the Day pack. Second out of the box, and I'm not sure who it is. Maybe you guys can help me out. It's an upper deck mini jersey from the Senators. And I'm not sure who's in it because this is sealed. And they're very hard to get sealed. Most guys open them up to see who they were. This one's sealed. And I don't know who's in there, but it's got to be somebody decent. Third out of the box, we got a neck deposit. And this is an old medal, well, not an old medal insert, but from the last couple of years. Alex Ovechkin. And fourth out of the box, I pulled a pretty old insert here from 95. The old lamp lighters. It's a uh, lamp lighter of Michael Renberg. They were pretty fancy cards back in the day. And that's our prizes. All you got to do is subscribe and be a, a commenter on this video, and you got a chance. Let me throw this over here. Let me get a little something to drink here. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, we're getting ready to close because I got to get moving. Busy weekend. Still got a couple hockey games and a picnic to go to tomorrow, too. So, 
I'm going crazy. It's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So don't. Oh, we got kitchen table box rig this Monday. Now that's a local thing only. You have to be able to pick up your stuff, and we're pretty much sold out. Uh, but if you want to check it out, I mean, you can check it out and watch. It's live on my Facebook, Monday, uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's always recorded on there, too. Uh, we do it live on the sports page, MC Game Room. Uh, no, I'm wrong. Wow Sport Cards, a.k.a. AKA the sports page, MC Game Room uh, Facebook page. It's live on there, and, and uh, we have a lot of fun. And you can see what we pull. We do four boxes a night. And then afterwards, we'll be going into the living room watching the Jet game. I'm excited about my Jets this year. I don't know. We'll see. I hope. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't forget our eBay. I think by next week, we should be cracking the 14,000 item barrier. So get ready. A lot of stuff on there. Plus, a lot of auctions starting at 95 cents every week. COMC, cracking 46, 47,000 items on there. Most of them are dollar or less. And... Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget, collect what you like. Because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to buy a box for more than 120 Because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't really been worth it. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend.